Uh, hi everyone. Okay, thanks for checking out this video. Um, so in today's lesson, we're going to be talking about how to actually uh, write this simulation of the uh, system of ODs we talked about in the last lesson. So um, in case you forgot, this is the uh, simulation of the uh, two gene activation model where one gene is activating the transcription of the second gene. And uh, so this is the uh, set of ODs we came up with last time. So for gene one, we just have a regular, um, regular equation. Uh, where uh, K sub 1 is the production rate, so that's the rate at which the uh, protein is being produced. And remember, so we said that this will include, um, we made a simplification so that this will include both the uh, DNA to RNA step as well as the RNA to protein step. So this uh, production term includes both. And then uh, gamma sub 1 is the uh, degradation rate, so that's the rate at which the protein is, uh, is breaking down for gene 1. And then gene 2, um, uh, gamma sub 2 is the uh, degradation rate, so pretty much just the same as gene 1. Um, but then uh, K sub 2 is the maximum production rate. And then we have this um, Hill function here multiplying uh, multiplying K sub 2. So the Hill function, as we get more and more of gene 1, this will um, approach 1. Because it, it starts out at 0 if we have 0 of gene 1. But as we get more and more of gene 1, this approaches 1. And this is what is... Uh, this is how gene one is activating the uh, production of gene two, because this will approach one, and then we'll get we'll get almost one times uh, the maximum production rate, k sub two. Um, okay, so let's get started with the actual uh, coding then. Okay, so we're going to start out just uh, importing the libraries we're going to use. I actually have to add this line because I got a uh, I updated to the new Mac OS and for some reason uh, matplotlib doesn't work anymore unless I add this line. So that's uh, I don't really know why, but that's the explanation for that. Okay. Okay, so we're using matplotlib to plot the results. Um, Scipy.integrate is the actual ODE solver, and we're using uh, ODE in from that. That's uh, that's the actual solver, and then we're using uh, NumPy. Um, okay, so a lot of this will be similar to the uh, programming video we did for the one gene model, where we're first just going to sort of before we even write the function that's going into the solver, we're going to just write down all of the uh, parameters that will go into that function. So we'll start off with the, with the initial conditions, y0, and we'll say that we're going to start with 0 of both of the genes. So 0 for gene 1 and 0 for gene 2 will be the uh, initial condition. Um, t is going to be all the time points we're going to solve over. So for this we use numpy.winspace. Um, this can be whatever you guys want, but we'll make it uh, from time 0 to time 200 um, with 100 time points uh, in that space. Okay. So now we need to actually write down uh, our parameters. So remember we have k sub 1, uh, gamma sub 1, k sub 2, gamma sub 2, and then c, the constant here and then n, the uh, exponent that everything's being put to the power of. So uh, k sub 1. Um, this can be whatever you guys want, and you can kind of play around with different values, but we'll make that 0.5 for now. Gamma sub 1. Remember to make this less than k sub 1 if you want to get, um, if you want to get a steady state that's uh, above 1. So make it 0 0.1 for now. <clears throat> K sub 2, make this uh, 0.5, and gamma sub 2, make this 0 0.05. Okay, then if you guys remember, um, we need uh, C and N. So C is this constant here, and then N is the uh, exponent that everything is being set to the power of. So um, you just make both of those 5. 
And then the next thing we'll do is put all of these in an array called params. So you guys could have actually just put the values right into this array if you wanted to, but I think it's easier to just write it like this to keep track of everything. Um, it just makes things kind of uh, easier. Um, okay, so now it's time to actually write the function that's going to go into the solver. So this will be basically the same thing as in the uh, previous uh, in the coding video for the one gene model. So we're going to call this function uh, sim. It's going to take a variables argument, um, a time point argument, and a params argument. And I'm going to go through this kind of faster because I sort of explained it more in depth in the uh, in the one gene model coding video. So if you guys want to sort of get um, a deeper breakdown of everything, you guys can uh, check out that video. But I'm going to go through this a um, little bit a uh, little bit faster, sort of assuming that you guys kind of already know. So this is just, um, the initial condition is passed in here through the variables uh, argument. And then it's just, we're just assigning the values of gene one and gene two here. So these are gonna start as the initial condition values um, from this array here. And then in the solver, it'll, uh, for each like iteration of the solver, this is what's gonna keep, be keeping track of the actual levels of gene one and gene two. And then, um, so we need to define all of our params. Yeah, so this is this array, this params array will be passed in uh, to this argument here, and then we're just assigning all of the uh, params uh, based on what we're passing in, uh, passing in here, and then assigning here. And then, so the last thing to do is actually just uh, write down the ODEs. So remember, this is uh, these are the ODEs here. We just need to write them down, and uh, that'll be it. So D G one D T equals k sub one minus gamma sub one times g one. Um, okay, and then d g two t whoops d g two t okay. So G1 to the nth power over um, C to the n plus G1 to the n. And then all of that times, uh, times A sub two. Minus gamma sub two times G two. Get everything right. Yeah, okay. okay. And then so and then the last thing for the, this function is just to return both of the ODs. Okay. So this is the function that will actually be passed into the uh, the uh, SciPy uh, solver. So now we're going to actually um, actually use the solver. So we're going to call our output y, and then um, od int. So remember that's what we uh, so we imported up here from from SciPy. Um, and then okay, so 
The syntax here is a little bit kind of weird, I guess, but we're just gonna put the name of our function. Our function is called sim, so we put just the name of the function, um, our initial condition, uh, the time points we're solving it, and then, okay, this is the part that's kind of weird, but args equals parentheses, params, comma. Remember, just this weird syntax here, even if there's only one arg, you still put the comma here. Um, yeah. Okay, and then, so then we'll have why, uh, why we'll have our results um, after solving it for uh, gene one and gene two. And then just like before, I don't actually have the MATLAB code all memorized. So I'm actually just gonna copy and paste this from a, a previous code. Um, Cause I actually don't think it's, uh, I don't think it makes sense to try to memorize all the MATLAB syntax. But so this is, what this is doing is just setting up a plot here where we're gonna plot one line, which will be, um, will be all the rows for the first column, which will be all the values of gene one after solving. And then all the rows in the second column, which will be all the all the values of gene two after solving. And then we'll just label our uh, axes and 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 this line here setting up the legend. Um, okay, do we get everything? Yeah. Okay. So hopefully this works. Okay, cool. So it did what it was supposed to do. So um, our blue line here is gene one. So remember gene one just, uh, it just, it doesn't, its production just doesn't rely on anything. It just starts being produced right away. But then gene two actually relies on gene one to be produced. So for gene two, it's, it's also eventually getting up to its steady state. But the reason there's this delay is because it actually, it needs gene one to be uh, produced. So without the gene one protein, it, it can't actually begin uh, production. So that's why it's a little bit delayed behind uh, gene one. But yeah, so once there's enough gene one um, for gene two to start being expressed, then gene two starts to also get up to its uh, steady state. Um, and so by the way, I think you guys, it, it's good to learn to just kind of like play around with different parameters, um, kind of just see what happens, change around the uh, hill function parameters and stuff. I think that's a really good way to uh, to learn and just test out different things. Um, but yeah, so I guess that's all for today. Uh, so in the next lesson, we're gonna be talking about um, a two gene model where one gene will actually uh, repress the expression of the second gene. Um, okay, so thanks for watching.